Have you ever been in a situation where you were talking to somebody every day, you know, every now and then they'll show interest. Sometimes they'll pull back. You won't hear from them for the next two days, uh, but they always tease you with certain future plans, but they're not solely invested. And gentlemen, we all know when a woman truly wants you and desires you. But a lot of times guys get themselves in situations that where their feeling isn't reciprocated. So and try to win the girl when he notices that she's pulling back and this is a mistake a lot of dudes make and this means that you are a placeholder boyfriend in other words what me and my homie call it you are an insurance policy and this is a role that you do not want to be a part of the just in case guy gentlemen if you ever go to tj maxx and you go shopping and you choose not to buy the particular item so what you do is you put the clothes in what they call layaway. And this is what a lot of women do. They typically put a guy in layaway until they actually find a guy that they desire. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you five signs that you are a placeholder boyfriend. In other words, an insurance policy. One sign, lack of future planning. Gentlemen, have you ever talk to a woman and you guys get to know each other, you guys conversate, and she doesn't talk about future plans because gentlemen, let's be real. Most girls, when they actually really are invested in a guy, they typically speed up the relationship. They want to truly talk about, oh, could you imagine if we had kids? Or could you imagine um, us getting married or walking through an aisle or, um, you know us having a family or they talk about matching pajamas they talk about all these different ideas that pertain to the future and this is a sign that she's actually invested in you but when she doesn't talk about those things and she's very moderate she's like oh we'll see you know we'll see if it's in god's hand they try to use god as a cover-up as a any scapegoat or they try to say oh you know let's not move too fast because gentlemen let's be honest with you women typically speed up the relationship when they really invested in you and this is something that most guys like are so egotistic that they don't want to believe that the woman's not as interested they're like oh she wants to take it slow gentlemen that's bullshit gentlemen that's sign that she sees you as a placeholder you're just just in case because what she's trying to do is keep you there until she actually finds the guy that she desires now if she doesn't find a guy she desires gentlemen you are done and if you cuff her and she doesn't truly like desire you you're done you are done and guess what that's a recipe for disaster she will not respect you she's not gonna be as missive she's not gonna be as cooperative she's always gonna try to pick arguments to try to make you feel like shit she's not gonna follow your lead she doesn't want to be a part of your program she's just doing it just as a filler so you're just a filler in her life and this is a role that most guys get themselves caught up with and guys end up getting hurt this is a situation that happened with me on numerous occasions and that's why every guy must have what they call situational awareness you must be aware of the situation so when you're courting her and you're, you're getting to know her look for those signs does she talk about the future does she talk about having kids does she send you memes does she send you memes that pertain to having children or having a family or relationship stuff does she send you those things those are signs that gentlemen that she is not as invested she doesn't send you that stuff because we live in a social media world where when a woman's interested she's gonna send you all type of shit regarding relationships and trust me don't fall for the BS don't listen to what they say always watch what they do so gentlemen if she doesn't talk about future planning with you you're a boyfriend placeholder or in other words you're an insurance policy two limited emotional investment now gentlemen you know women are led by the emotions and you got to understand that that's part of female nature now it's your job as a man to really recognize that and have situational awareness is she all up on you does she show interest is she always emotional about every little thing you do like whatever post you make on social media she's gonna start to say hey what, what's the post about why'd you make that post she's when she's heavily invested emotionally gentlemen that's where you have her but if she's not as invested emotionally she's like 
nonchalant, she don't really care. Gentlemen, those are signs that you are a placeholder boyfriend. And most guys need to watch out for that. A lot of guys, especially modern men, ignore who women are at their core. Naturally, women are emotional creatures. So when she actually likes you, she's gonna wanna beat up on you, she's gonna hug up on you. She's show a lot of signs that she's just so heavily invested. In general, when a woman's heavily invested in you, she will not keep her hands off you. It's gonna get to a point, gentlemen, where she you like, damn, baby girl, like, relax, chill. Like, she's gonna be very all up on you, touching you, and you know, always talking about I wanna see you, I can't wait to see you. Because again, they can't really those emotions that they have, it's up and down. And a lot of guys complain to me and ask me for advice. They're like, yo, why is she doing that? Watching up, bro. She's a woman. She's emotional. So her emotions are up and down and guys have to accept that. A lot of modern men think that we're equals as far as our human, human-like traits when we're two different types of people. Men and women are very different. Don't let society fool you thinking that we're equals. Yes, we both have emotions. Yes, we both um, get sad. We're bo we both get mad and happy the whole nine, right? Those basic human emotions. However, how we channel it is very different. But obviously, women are more emotional than men, naturally. So if she's not as emotionally invested in you, gentlemen, that means she placed you as a placeholder boyfriend. We have to be mindful of that, gentlemen. I've been in scenarios where I will talk to a woman, she's interested in me, she's heavily invested in me, and then out of nowhere she just starts to flip the script and start to play this hot and cold game where she doesn't really know, she's like, we'll see, you know, you never know if it's in God's hands, he'll allow this to happen. They start to use those little terms and we have to be mindful for that, gentlemen. So please be cautious of that, man. I'm telling you, I've been in that predicament so many times. So just be mindful that got you in this role, gentlemen. You are a placeholder boy. Number three, unwillingness to define the relationship. Now, typically, gentlemen, when a woman is truly invested in you, she's gonna hit you with the question like, so what are we? So the moment you get that phrase, that means you got her. That means this is somebody that you wanna consider taking to the next level, right? But if she's just in a predicament where you guys don't know what the hell's going on, you don't know whether it's a friendship, you don't know whether it's a relationship, whether it's a situationship, a fuck buddy, the whole nine. If you're in that situation where you're confused and every time you address what are we, that means you've been placed at a place over boyfriend. A lot of times what I've experienced is they use words like we just vibing. Oh, we just cooling. Oh, um, you know, it's not too serious. You know, I just want to still get to know you and this and that and the third. But if they want to get to know you, they'll show you that they want to get to know you. So that question shouldn't even be placed and asked. But a lot of times, gentlemen, if she's got you as a placeholder, she's going to say, we vibing, we cooling. And words like that. So if you've been fooled by that, gentlemen, that means you are a placeholder boyfriend. You're an insurance policy. I've been in this role, I'll never forget, I was dating a girl two years ago. And I was really into this girl. But there'll be times where I would say, yo, like, you know, I want to take this to another level. That's where I went wrong. Those, that was a simping method that I messed up on. Oh, let's take it to the next level. And then she hit me with the, oh, we just cool and we vibe and let's just vibe, just chill. And I'm thinking like, what? Because typically when a chick is highly interested, she's gonna hit you with the question like, so what are we like? Because I want something serious. I want to take this to the next level. But when she doesn't hit you with that question, she's like, we just vibing, you lost. You are a placeholder boyfriend. Now, especially when people ask her questions like, what are y'all? Are we just cooling? Unless you guys both agreed on what, whatever role or situation you guys are on, and one party says, we cooling, and the other party says, we talking, ah, you're a placeholder boyfriend. Uh, I'm just telling you the truth, gentlemen. So we gotta be mindful, gentlemen. We gotta be mindful of these traits. We gotta be cautious, man. We truly gotta be cautious. So just, just pay attention to those signs, gentlemen. Have some situational awareness because a lot of times, gentlemen, it's important that you are clear and concise with your desires and, and intentions. When you're in these limbo situations, I've been in this limbo situation, gentlemen. I remember 
a year, not even a year ago, maybe two years, another story, another situation I was a part of where I was talking to a woman. We would talk every day, every day. And then it got to a point where I messed up again. I popped up the question like, yo, like, what's up? Like, we talk every day. Like, what's going on? She's like, oh, we're just chilling. We're just friends, Joel. We're just friends. We're just cool. That means you are a place of a boyfriend. So you need to watch out for that. I've been in that situation so many times. And gentlemen, the moment I cut this girl off, she was hitting me up, going crazy and saying, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, you're taking this too deep. This ain't even that serious. Da, 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 whole nine. And you start to think like, girl, you're wasting my time. We talk every day. I waste my time talking to you. And we're not getting anywhere. I like progression. So if you're not as invested in me, we can't talk no more. And this is something that I've been a part of, gentlemen. I've been in this situation so many times, especially my 20s, and I've learned to cut that bullshit out. The moment they show those signs, gentlemen, I cut them off, ASAP. So gentlemen, if you're in this predicament where you're in a limbo and you're confused and she won't define it or you won't define it, you gotta cut this girl off. Four, hot and cold behavior. Now. I spoke about this early in my video. Sometimes when a woman got you as a placeholder boyfriend, they're hot and cold. Sometimes they'll show high interest and sometimes they'll show low interest. Have to be mindful of that. Again, situational awareness. Understand who she is or what she's about. So she's showing you certain signs, gentlemen, that she's not as invested. You know, some certain days she was like, oh, you're so handsome, you're so beautiful, blah, 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 and the nice, you know, the whole nine. And then there's other days where she's like, uh, you know, whatever, you know, we're just cool. You know, you're just a friend to me. Like, we have to be mindful of that, gentlemen. We gotta be cautious of that. When you notice a hot and cold behavior and you don't see consistent behavior, I talk about consistent behavior, then that means she got you as a placeholder. So she's trying to find another guy that she's truly desired and she thinks she's too good for you. You're just a temporary guy. You're just an insurance policy. So please, gentlemen, have some situational awareness and, and avoid getting hurt because a lot of times guys go into every situation blind, overly too excited, overly too invested without properly vetting this particular woman. Again, gentlemen, watch out for that hot and cold behavior patterns. The last sign, the last but not least sign, gentlemen, frequent mention of other options. When gentlemen, when she's always talking about, well, I can get this guy, I can do this, or I can do that, I can get this guy, oh, this guy is attractive, oh man, he's so fine. Like she's talking about other guys with you, gentlemen, that's it. You gotta go. You're a placeholder. You got to go. You got to go. I'm telling you the truth. I've been in this situation, gentlemen, where I was talking to this girl a year ago, every single day. Now, this is before I started making content. When I started making content, I never put myself in this situation ever again. But prior to me making this YouTube channel and this content, I was put in this situation where, well, I put myself in that situation, so I blame myself by not having situational awareness, where I was talking to this girl every day. So there would be days where she would show me high interest, there'll be days where she wasn't as interested. And the moment that um, I started noticing her falling back, and then when she started falling back, she started talking about how other guys were attractive. Oh, she's so fine on the phone and blah, blah, blah. And she wasn't listening to your conversations. Like she wasn't listening to anything that you were saying. And she liked that respect for you. And I started noticing like, damn, she's not listening to me. Like she doesn't really care. And that's when I realized she's not as invested. And when I popped the question to her, I said, yo, keep it real with me. And she told me she wasn't. And I'm like, wow, so I wasted all my time talking to you and you weren't as invested as I was. And because she was showing so many different sides, I was beyond hurt, like I was so hurt, gentlemen. Like, I was like, damn, I really wasted my time. And she showed me all this interest, talking about the future at first. But when she started falling back, I started playing catch up, trying to force myself on her and just lost my frame. And this is why I had to go into therapy and learn more and more about myself, gentlemen. And I had to really dig deep and heal and grow and validate myself and understand women nature, understand dating, understand all these different situations, gentlemen. So just letting you know to avoid getting hurt, 
you must understand these signs, gentlemen. Don't stop making excuses. Drop the ego, gentlemen. You know when a woman is truly interested in you, she's going to be highly invested, gentlemen. So please, please be cautious and trust your discernment. Trust that gut. If that gut is telling you she's not as invested, you got to go. I'm telling you the truth. I just named five signs that you are a placeholder boyfriend. In other words, what me and my homie call it, an insurance policy. Gentlemen, if you find any value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell and check out my weekly Patreon for more exclusive content. Gentlemen, if you have any issues with your relationships, with your self-esteem, with your fitness, with your appearance, with your hygiene, book a session with me. And I promise you, I'm going to change your life forever. I'm currently changing lives as we speak right now. So if you struggle with anything, book a session with me and I promise you, I'm going to make sure that you become the best version of yourself.